Good morning. So the plan for today is we're gonna get some food first and foremost because we're both starving. Then we're just gonna have a walk around the town. We don't have a specific plan today because we need to do quite a lot of work this evening in our Airbnb. So we'll just finish this, go for a quick shower, and then let's go out. We are out and our first stop is some little bakery. Russian bakeries are the best. Now it's time for Matt's favorite cake. Is it good or is it good? It's good. <laughs> So we're here in December and the temperature today is about zero plus one which is chilly but not that bad considering we're in Russia in December. There's no snow on the ground here in St Petersburg so yeah it's quite nice to walk. Last time we were here a couple of years ago in December it had snowed a lot like a few days prior and then it had started to melt and it was literally like we were walking through a lake. There was like a layer of slushy water on the street so you couldn't walk in trainers at all but yeah now it's much better When St. Petersburg was built by Peter the Great, it's supposed to be Russian window into Europe and you can really see it by the architecture and everything in town when you walk around here. Behind us is the Winter Palace, which is the home of the Hermitage Museum, one of the most famous museums in the world. And also more interesting to me, is the place where effectively the whole Soviet Union started. There was the storming of the Winter Palace in 1917 when the Bolsheviks stormed in, took over, running the entire country, and that was the start of communism and of the Soviet Union. Personally, I think this is my favorite building because it looks just amazing. All the details and the colors, I just love it. And if you didn't notice, Matt is a little bit obsessed with the USSR and the whole shebang around it. Matt just told me a very fascinating story and we just need to share it with you. In 1917, when the Bolsheviks stormed the Winter Palace, they went down into a wine cellar and there was wine, some of the most expensive bottles ever, that they just collected and not drunk. And the Bolsheviks ended up smashing every single bottle because of the obscene wealth that they represented and obviously went against everything they stood for. The funniest thing is, is that we heard this story together on the bus tour last time we were in St. Petersburg and now Matt's telling me that, but you didn't know!
It's really beautiful everywhere. We feel like we could be walking literally all day, but we've got quite a lot of work to do. And plus, we're starting to get a bit chilly, so we're just on the way to our apartment now. We just got back home. We went via supermarket and we got quite a few bits that hopefully gonna last us till the rest of the week. <laughs> Basically, to cut a long story short, we budgeted ourselves for a long period of time 19 pounds and 2p a day which is about 25 dollars so yeah we're, we're trying to to do it on a weekly basis so we've um, 19 pounds a day times seven that's what we want to spend in a week including accommodation food transport so everything our airbnb where we're staying here cost us 13 pounds a night so we've got six pounds a day left to spend on food and transport etc so we tried to be as tight as possible haven't we yeah, obviously six pounds, but it's not per head, it's all together. Three pounds per person. Yeah, and day. this last year, while we were preparing to go, we were trying to cut our costs down, but unfortunately we can't get rid from all our bills. So we still have about 400 pounds coming out of our account. and Each month. Each month, each month. yeah. So if we don't make any income, like we do now, we will run out of money again if we overspend pretty quickly <laughs> because you might think that we're rich that's why we're doing it sometimes i wish we were rich but no we're on a very tight budget so we didn't say but we're gonna spend a week in st petersburg and i will actually explain and tell you why we came here in our next video um not just because we wanted to spend time in St. Petersburg, but there is a specific reason why. Um, but then afterwards, we're gonna go to Siberia to see my gran, and we're gonna stay with her for how long? About six, six weeks. weeks overall. Yeah. So about six weeks, and there we'll be able to cut our costs down on accommodation, hopefully, and even things out. And then afterwards, we're gonna go and see my. So my family is split now. We're gonna go further on to Russia in a place called Sochi. They had Winter Olympic Games, so you might have heard of the place. So we're gonna go there for about three to four weeks to spend time with my mom and uh, my brother and sister as well, and hopefully not spend much money too. It's all about a balance. Yeah. So we wanna, we wanna travel, we wanna do things and see things that, that we want to and tick things off on the bucket list or whatever. Um, but at the same time, we've got a really tight budget, so if we want to still do the things that we want to do, then we need to cut back as much as possible on food and accommodation, etc., so that we've got the money when we really want to do something. So yeah, we've got some really good things planned for while we're in Russia that we've that we've been planning for a while. It's just about finding the balance. The balance, yeah, as I say. Yeah. So on that note, we've just been to the supermarket. Yes, and we got, as I said, quite a few bits that I. Th I personally don't like going out every day, like getting breakfast and stuff like that. I would rather have things there ready for me so I can make porridge and whatever. And thankfully we're not fussy people, so... <laughs> so, the bill came to 1150 rubles, which is about, at the moment, £11.50 or about $14. And for that money we got... A bunch of bananas, they're gonna go with our porridge. Oats. Macaroni, pasta. pasta. And with pasta, we're gonna make that. It's meat in a can. I have no idea what to call it in English. Beef in a can. That's all we can tell you. <laughs> We've got Russian black rye bread, Baradinsky. Cottage cheese with jam. Breakfast. We bought a massive drinking yogurt with prunes. And I've got two little ones to take with us tomorrow. The most exciting bit for me is Rolton mashed potato. I'm well excited about that. Have you ever tried that? No. Dry mash. You no. never tried dry mash? Well, no, I've had, as a kid, I had smash. But it's the same thing? Same thing, yeah. Okay. And ramen noodles. I reckon we'll be living on that quite a lot. I'm gonna think about healthier options of how to make things, you know, cheaper. But at this point, we just sort of went into supermarket and I wasn't prepared, and I have to be prepared. 
And they're like 50 cents a packet, so. Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. quality stuff. Sausages to go with uh, dasherak which is ramen noodles and this potato and eggs. 10 eggs. 10 eggs. And that's it. And that's what we have for our 10 pounds. That's, that's probably, I would say, what, five days worth of food? I think our breakfasts are definitely sorted for this week and we have some lunches and dinners as well. So okay. if we say 11 pounds 50, two pounds a day worth here, isn't it? Or three. Oh, yeah. $2 50 a day worth of food here. We'll see how we get on with it, but hopefully we get on with it really well. <laughs> on that note, if you want to use Airbnb, you can follow the link below, register yourself there, and you will get $40 or like £32 off your accommodation. And plus that helps us out a lot because that would mean that we would get a discount on our further bookings. You help us, we help you, you know. <coughs> Works both sides, not just one. Anyway, I'm buzzing to get into these noodles, so we're going to do that, do a bit of work, and we'll see you in the next video. Let me just show you something. So I opened the curtain this morning. And there was a naked lady right in that window. Just standing loud and proud, wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, for the first floor. I mean, I wish I had the confidence, I think. Uh, my turn. So if you want to get a flavour of what we normally do when we're travelling, we ate just 10 minutes ago. We had a pie, cake and a, a quiche. And Julia's just turned to me and said, what are we having for lunch? This oh, is what dinner. we do. Don't lie, I said dinner. I, I don't know what we're having for dinner though, you didn't answer. What can I do? We'll it's come back to you fault. on that one. <laughs> it's not my fault. I didn't choose to be born like it, okay? It just told me a very fascinating story and I need to... <laughs> I just sound, it makes you sound like an old granddad who's telling these stories from the war. I had it all turned in my head. You put the camera on, I'm like... <laughs> Hold on. Put the camera down, I'm going to stand in for a minute. My eyes are chewing from the wind and everything. 